next election, presidential election, which group of conservatives you, you've identified will be the most important and in what ways? I think that the traditional group of the fundamentalists will be the most important and the one dominating the election. There is an open clash between uh, uh, the fundamentalist and uh, the Ursul Garan, the principalist, and uh, there is a growing support from the third uh, wing uh, of the Conservative uh, Party, uh, the, 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 those of, um, coming from the, the, the radical elements, which are wrongly supporting uh, the fundamentalist camp, and in my opinion will be a fundamental element of their success in the presidential election of 2005. There is, however, an intermediate uh, element that must be considered, which are the parliamentary elections of 2012 in March, and uh, this will be a very important moment in order to understand how strong is their capacity of uh, regrouping forces and of keeping them united in, uh, in uh, waiting for the presidential election of the following year. What does the conservative political public think of the international response to the enrichment of uranium in Iran? Well, there is a, a quite uh, strange phenomenon uh, in, in Iran. Even those who are uh, hostile to the institution of the Islamic Republic, or even those who are on the uh, reformist side, are convinced of the fact that uh, Iran has the right to develop its own nuclear program. There is ambiguity, however, in uh, when we talk about nuclear program, because, of course, in terms of uh, uh, international laws, according to uh, what we like to respect with the NPT, we can talk only of uh, uh, a nuclear development of this, uh, this program, while at a broader level, the Iranians are still considering the, 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 the nuclear uh, industry and the nuclear development as uh, a wider context uh, in both industrial and military terms. So still there is the desire of being recognized as a growing power of the region and uh, um, as one of the few who is able to produce its own uh, nuclear industry, energy industry and, in a certain sense, also the one who could have uh, the know-how to create a bomb. With the tensions in the conservative group, does an outside threat like Saudi Arabia help to unite them, and if so, how? Well, Saudi Arabia became the most important and uh, immediate source of threat for the Islamic Republic at the moment. The, with the end of Saddam's Iraq and with the collapse of Taliban's Afghanistan the, and being the regional dimension, the first line of threat for the Iranians, Saudi Arabia is representing now the most uh, uh, dangerous and direct source of threat for the uh, strategic interest of the Islamic Republic. This means uh, uh, not only in uh, political terms, uh, uh, but also in economic terms. Saudi Arabia is considered uh, a country which is playing against the interest of the Iranian economic interest, for example, in the oil market. And uh, it is widely diffused, uh, and not only in the conservative camp, uh, this image of Saudi Arabia as a new element of threat of the food region. So this is certainly an element of popular or social uh, unity in, uh, in the country and uh, it's probably even bigger than uh, the generic threat posed by the West in general or by more specific actors like the United States. The United States are considered at least a rational counterpart, a counterpart uh, uh, to whom they can talk with too, and while on the other side the Saudis are seen as aggressive uh, not willing to negotiate or to uh, share their own interest in the region. And so, in the overall picture of, uh, of the regional interest, they are seen as basically uh, the, the, the biggest source of threat for at least the next decade.